I am pleased and proud to say with certainty that the state of this institution, the birthplace of public higher education in Kenya, is excellent and strong. And it is growing from strength to strength. Every day, every month, and every year because of our collective efforts. The state of the university has never been better. And you can experience it. You can feel it. And you can design it from the positive attitude and sentiments of our stakeholders. The number of people and corporations knocking on our doors for partnerships is indeed overwhelming. You gave me a mandate and a vision. The vision to steer this university to a transformation path. We embrace the philosophy of providing quality education commitment to give quality service to the community and make a mark at the global stage. This vision was fashioned around 10 strategic priorities. Sustaining world-class university, strengthening the alumni Providing visionary and creative leadership. Promoting positive image and competitiveness of the university. Growing the university's research and innovation capacity. Expanding and modernizing our infrastructure. Fundraising, resource mobilization, and sustainability strategy, enhancement of graduate skills, enrichment of students' life on campus, and enriching and enhancing community service and our relevance in solving societal problems. Over the last four years, united and determined, we have moved these priorities forward. And that will be the focus of my address to you this afternoon. University. My first priority was to ensure that the university sustains its leadership of the higher education sector by producing quality and holistic graduates in diverse fields of study. And obviously, we ensure that those graduates not only meet the expectations of the market, but also continue to play the important role of providing solutions to the media challenges bedeviling our society. To ensure quality programs and increase the relevance of our graduates to industry. Most academic programs and processes have been reviewed while new curricula are being developed and deployed. We have positively integrated ICT into teaching and learning, inbuilt special and experiential learning in our programs, implemented all round student mentorship by faculty and sustained faculty training on pedagogy and andragogy. The University's College of Engineering, of Architecture and Engineering, in the School of Engineering, in collaboration with the Japan Space Agency, we successfully deployed the first Kenyan satellite, one icons Mikasa flight from the Chuba Space Center in Tokyo, Japan, May 11, 2018. 
In 2017, quarter one talent report by the government, Minister of Education, in July 2017, revealed that the University of Nairobi graduates are the most preferred by industry. Revealed that the University of Nairobi had the highest employability index in the region and that graduates from the University of Nairobi are more likely to be employed than those of any other university. Concurrently, the university is planning to establish the Museum of East African Art and the Ages and on its territory. The goal is to build a world-class museum of great artistic and educational value. The mission of the museum will be to collect, preserve, display the wealth and genius of the East African art for the citizens of East Africa and the broader, broader public. The slogan is our alumni, our strength. The University of Nairobi has remained at the forefront of Kenya's manpower development. It has the strongest alumni network in the region with over 210,000 men and women making their contributions in public and private sectors worldwide. Our alumni and friends continue to support us by giving scholarships to bright students and needy students supporting endowed chairs and financial financing critical research activities and events at the university. Right now, more than 15 alumni chapters have been launched, with the most recent ones being the School of Law in 2017, the Dental Chapter in 2018, and the School of Nursing Sciences Chapter just last Friday, I think, isn't it? I'm happy to report that the newly formed University of Nairobi Council has now been inaugurated and has hit the ground running. And therefore, with our vibrant and resource-based university council, we cannot, we will not go wrong. Professorial appointments and prof promotions are now going on. The new strategic plan for 2018-2023 has already been approved by the new council and operationalized. In regards to management, the vacant DVC's positions have been advertised and are soon going to be filled. All of these changes are expected to improve and sustain our institutional performance. And the dividend is permeating multiple areas within the university. Student matters have been addressed with care and professionalism, as attested by the alignment of the student leadership from student organization of Nairobi University Sonu to the University of Nairobi Student Association, UNSA, as per the University's Amendment Act 2016. Also, the development of a new UNSA 2017 constitution and the students' elections that have been held on time and peacefully. I wish to note that our relations with the media have improved greatly and we are very grateful. In fact, in the last three consecutive years, we receive awards for the best social learning institution in the country from the annual social media SOMA awards. We are also not oblivious of the issues that some of our stakeholders continue to convey to us through the Gata Press. We shall continue to engage constructively with all the stakeholders in addressing their fears and finding solutions to their problems. But we shall not allow ourselves to be distracted from the course 
that we truly believe in. We have registered favorable, favorable global rankings by reputable institutions such as the Globometrics, Times Higher Education, and the QS rankings, maintaining our number one position as the leading university in Sub Saharan Africa, leading in the global visibility parameter according to the Globometric ranking. So we are global leader as a university in an important aspect of university institutionalization. The university has forged partnerships with industry for a wide host of functions. For example, partnership with the National Media Group to provide thought leadership on national discourses. This has been very attractive in Kenya and in the region. Partnership with Huawei for ICT laboratories. Collaboration with Cisco to launch tech innovation program for startups. Partnership with the United Nations Children Development Fund, UNICEF, in designing thinking school. The Nairobi Innovation Week. The Africa Technology and Innovation Accelerator. Partners with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on diplomats training and partnership with the Department of Immigration and Department of Defense. Partnership with the French Development Agency on the construction and modernization of the School of Engineering and the construction of an engineering and science complex. This is coming. Partnership with the Indian government on the modernization and refurbishment of the Graduate School Library. Partnership with Techno on the putting up of technical benches and donation of uniforms and sports kits to basketball research and innovation. In our academic mission, we identified excellence in research, knowledge preservation and impact. And this is one of our greatest strengths. In the past four years, the University Research Fund has increased from Kenya shillings billion, Kenya shillings billion 3.9 to Kenya shillings billion 4.5 due to the increased research activities by members of staff who make club. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, through its research activities, the University has acquired 14 patents five utility models, four copyrights and 36 trademarks. And additionally, the university has commercialized nine IP technologies and also applied for protection of 23 new B varieties. Currently, the university has 142 ongoing research projects across all the colleges. Through these, the university creates knowledge that is documented and evidence through publications in peer-reviewed scientific journals. And over the last four years, the university has produced 4,213 journal publications, 895 conference presentations, and 73 books and book chapters. 